Hello everyone, welcome back to our Courageous Leadership with Virginia Pradhan, which you can hear it every Wednesday and Saturday at 10 o'clock Central Time on Spotify, Podbean, Apple Podcast, and ADP Podcast Network. And of course, you can watch it on the YouTube channel. We are grateful for your presence here. We are grateful for you coming to our podcast and sending your questions and um, your concern, things that you want us to help with. We are so, so delighted for that. We are so grateful for all of you who read my memoir, Saving My Assassin. You can learn a lot from it and you can be encouraged. You can find it at virginiaprodanbooks.com slash contact. Is, or you can find it at virginiaprodanbooks.com slash product slash book. It is an honor and a privilege to um, share with you today how to stay or remain faithful and strong under pressure. That was your question. How do I stay strong and faithful under pressure? Ask yourself first, what kind of pressure are you under today? What is keeping you up at night? And write them down. God has a way of, of building our spiritual formation under pressure. He works in your heart. The question is, ah, how do you hold up under pressure? How do you stay strong and faithful under pressure? Those were your questions. And those are what I'm going to do today. I'm going to share with you three steps that you can take to stay faithful and strong and courageous under pressure. To rise up from being overwhelmed, feel fearful, being... Uh, depress to become an overcomer, a joyful person, even under pressure. If you need more training after after this uh, this um, uh, podcast, please go to virginiaprodanbooks.com slash contact. Tell us what you need and we will help you. So here are the three steps. Take notes, take a pad and pen and Take notes. Number one, realize that God is with you and for you. That's his promise. Jesus said, in this world you will have tribulation, but take heart. I have overcome the world. John 16, 33. He explained to us from the beginning that this is not our place. This is a temporary place for us, and we will have in this world tribulation, but he is the one who overcame the world. So with him, we can walk on his path. He already won the victory. We can one, walk on his path with him from victory to victory, not to victory for us to win. The victory was won on the cross by Christ. So, what pressures are you facing today? What is keeping you up at night? Maybe the inflation, the results of the last elections, the possibility of COVID-19 or whatever name it's going to be to be again um, establish or the rules of uh, staying home and having masks and everything, maybe we'll come back again and the government will restrict again our freedom. Yes, indeed, we are facing a different kind of war, a world and different kind of circumstances full of isolation, um, uncertainty, working from home still for many people. Um, for many kids, uh, still are doing uh, 
uh, work from home school and for some of them even if they are at school under so so amazing restriction what i will say to you is we all have people we all have friends relatives even acquaintances they went to hard situation because of covid uh, maybe they were on a, in a hospital and nobody was allowed to visit them. And some of them maybe died during that period of time. Um, and some some people we know they lost their business, um, their loved ones, or their, their savings during this time. And um, but in all these circumstances, we are trained to encourage to follow Christ no matter our circumstances or pressure that we are facing. Because that's the best way to be under God's wings, reads Psalm 91. So the first things that we will say is give your pressures to God. This is what I'm asking. Write it down, the kind of pressures that we have. What kind of things are keeping you up at night? And instead of worrying, instead, in, instead of making yourself sick, give them to Christ. He will give you peace that surpasses all understanding, joy in the midst of those pressures, and more than anything, he will advise you step by step. He will give you what you need to do under those pressures. Number two, draw near to God. Psalm 34, 18 reminds us, the Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. He knows exactly the kind of pressures that you have. He knows exactly where to find the solution and how to get there. He loves you and he is for you. So God who is omnipresent, Know not only your past, your present, but your future too. And it's a glorious future with God. We need to actively seek Him. Open the Bible and read. Know what God has done with others and for others in the Bible and be encouraged by that. Because under pressure, you can be calm as you drown near to God and he draws near to us too. James 4, 8 says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Write down every single time when you pray for that and write down what you notice. Things that change circumstances, your attitude, and many, many other things. So you can be encouraged, you can share with others, and you can encourage others. So give your pressures to God in both questions, in both situations, and no matter how many questions you will have, or if tears are flowing down on your face. As mothers and parents, we want to fix our family's problems and help everyone around us. But we have to remember that our troubles, problems, are in God's hands, in fact, solutions or deliverance that in his sovereignty prepare for, prepare each one of us, each one of them for us, for his glory, so we might see his glory and not only that, but others around us will see that. Let me explain it to you, then maybe you will agree with me. Think about those situations. God did not pull Joseph out of pit. He was in jail for nine years, do you know that? God allowed Joseph to suffer for things that he didn't do wrong, but right, honoring God. 
So God allowed Joseph to suffer under pressure in prison for many years, like I said, nine years. And Joseph remained faithful. He didn't question God. And God trained Joseph in those nine years and under the pressure in jail to be a leader who will deliver his people from famine. He became number two in that kingdom. That's how God works. So do not be discouraged. David was protected by God out of Saul's hands who tried to kill him. But God, David did not hide away in cave full of pain or ex experience rejection. He was under pressure all the time. Read his story in the Bible. And God prepared David to become a man under those pressures after God's own heart that led Israel to victory. God is preparing you for something absolutely amazing. So take those examples to heart and remain faithful and God will make you strong. Esther was snatched from her own family, placed in a position of slave she never imagined that she would be under, or later in the position of being a queen she never asked for. Still in this process, under so much pressure on both situations, Esther had to remember, and at time she had to be reminded of who she was and who she was serving and to hold on her identity. Esther remained faithful and God built her into a woman who will save his people's lives. God can prepare you for something so unique and special that you cannot even imagine right now under pressure. So remain faithful because God has a specific reason for you. God watched his son, Jesus Christ, naked and beaten, his body pierced uh, with nails and turns, suffering and dying on the cross for you and me. Because God saw his son, Jesus Christ, as the savior of the world. Take those examples when you are under pressure and try, um, ready to give up. And remember that God loves you and he is working on something so special. Remember Christ's sacrifices fear, uh, frees us. His sacrifice on the cross free, uh, frees, frees us from all the fear and things that come with um, toughness situation under pressure because we can draw near to God time and time again. God knows and understands the pressures we are under and he will give you specific directions and he will take you to places that you will never imagine that you can reach. Number three, don't lose sight of your identity. Remember, you are a child of God. Under pressure, it's difficult, really is. I remember being under uh, house arrest or under interrogation, beaten, tortured. It's not very easy in those situations. But if you practice, to keep in in your keep never lose your side of your identity. You are a child of God. You will be able to look beyond the imminent and crushing pressure of momentary afflictions. It's hard. Take it from me. I was under interrogation del. I was beaten, tortured, kidnapped. My assassin 
pointed a gun at me to kill me as a dictator, ordered him to come to my office as a client and to kill me. It is hard to remember that you are a child of God and that you are in God's hands, but it's not impossible. In fact, I advise you to read my book, Saving My Assassin. You can find it at the, my our website, virginiaprodanbooks.com slash product slash book. And you will find out that under that pressure, as the assassin pointed his gun at me, I heard the voice of God saying to me as a child of God, share the gospel with him. And I shared the gospel with him, and later he accepted Christ after I shared the gospel with him in that, that day. And what God is doing in his life, it's absolutely unbelievable. Years later, he came to Dallas, Texas uh, as, as a client. He had a case, and I didn't recognize him, but later I, uh, as he showed me his uh, Securitate ID. I realized he was my assassin. He asked me to let him write a chapter in my book. So you can read now what God is doing in his life and what he thought when he was in my office pointing his gun at me. Never lose side of your identity. Paul said in 2 Corinthians 4, 17, 18, for this light momentary affliction, it's preparing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all compassions as we look not to the things that are seen, but to the things that are not unseen. Yes, it is hard, but it is not impossible with God. As pressure in intensify in our lives here in America and all over the world, and the dif difficulties of life multiply to regain ground in our faith and to be grounded in our faith. Even when the ground around us is shaken, we have to remain faithful to our identity in Christ. We have to gain the right perspective about our circumstances that are temporary, trust our God, is sovereign and eternal and submit to his will for us. Trials might shake your faith or might grow your faith. It's up to you if you give up in fear or you remain faithful to God. We can remain grounded in our identity in Christ as God's children destined to glory, anchor, protected, guided to be strong and courageous by a sovereign God who helps us in times of pressure, trouble, and struggle, and to walk with us in his victorious path. What a wonderful perspective we have. But to remember, not only in good time, but during pressure. But knowing all those, it's a very good thing, but not enough. Information can serve you, your purpose to remain faithful and strong, maybe for a temporary time. But if you don't act on those information, on what God is asking you to do and take actions, you will lose everything. If you want, to be fully trained on how to be strong, faithful, and courageous, even during pressure of time, you can go to virginiaprodanbooks.com slash contact and tell us what you need, and we will help you. The rewards of working with us is that your life will be changed. I was in your shoes. I know exactly how God trained me and how he helped me to remain faithful and strong and courageous, not only under cruel persecution in Romania, but now in America. And as I go and train and speak 
all over the world, not only in the United States. I would love to train you too. You do not have to remain stuck and overwhelmed, but you can move with our help from overwhelmed to an overcomer. We love to equip you to be successful and victorious, even under pressure, and live a life of significance and success, not only for you, for your family, for your business, but also for generations to come. Because your action today is going to be part of your legacy. And you can leave a legacy of fate, a legacy of victory in Christ. Until next time, and our, our podcast, Wednesday and Saturday, uh, 10 o'clock Central Time, I hope that you take notes. You're going to send us your questions and your comments on how to remain strong and courageous under and faithful under pressure or any other questions. I hope you will watch, you will hear and listen to our podcast, Courageous Leadership with Virginia Prodan, anytime you want on Spotify, Podbean. Apple Podcast, ADP Podcast, and of course, you can uh, watch it on YouTube channel. Remember, God has an amazing, amazing plan for your life. He has an amazing plan and show it to you, to Joseph, to David, to Esther, and to so many, to Daniel, so many people in your life. And if you want to see how God created me, transformed my life from a person overwhelmed to a faithful, strong, and courageous. Again, go and read this book, Saving My Assassin by Virginia Prodan. You can find it at virginiaprodanbooks.com slash product slash book. God helped me and changed through me a country, Romania, and God wants to use you to change a country America, or whatever country you might be in. What a wonderful plan. Don't remain overwhelmed. Don't be stuck with fear and depression and questions that are overwhelming you. Start your journey. We love to start your journey with you and train you to be strong and courageous. Until next time, God bless you. Bye-bye.